Ha-pa! Hi, hi, hi! Welcome back. It's the Mr. Leroy Show, or as I am known today, Professor Leroy. I want to apologize for the lack of videos on my end. I've been in a funk lately, and I couldn't find any good video ideas. But now I'm back. These videos may be hit and miss, but you keep watching them. I keep posting them. So let's get into this. Today, I'm going to give you some more tips. This is Professor Leroy's four-step plan to do it well in school. Number one, find good ways to study. Everybody is different. That's what every show, every kid's show is trying to tell us nowadays, and we know it. But we sometimes never accept it. We try to just study conventionally. Some people study better in song. Some people study better from book. First thing first, if you want to do well in school, define your own study habits, and that'll help you. Hey, I didn't try to make a joke. Well, yes, you did. Rats. Anyway, number two. Always have your materials. I will speak from experience myself. I carried a bag around with me with all my school books in it. It weighed about 10 pounds, had it on my back every day, carried it on the bus every day, took it off the bus every day. I ain't hurting for it. But you're us like me, you get a little paranoid that you forget something. So always make sure that you have a bag with the things you need for that day. If you have a science book and a science binder, always keep them together just in case you may lose them. And then, step number three. You, yes, this one may sound like an easy one, but a lot of people don't do it and a lot of people don't seem to do it. Homework. You gotta do your homework. I know it seems very unnecessary when you're doing it like, man, this teacher tripping. What's she giving us all this homework for? Man, I see it like that sometimes too, but then I look back on the homework, I'm like, the teacher actually used this as a study tactic. Cause that's what it is. You're doing it ahead of time so it's etched in your head. And when that big test runs around, you'll remember it better. Now, some people it does work, some people it doesn't. Like I said in number one, everyone is different. Homework may work for you, the homework may not. But I'm just saying, sometimes it's worth from 10 to 15% of your grade. Now, if you only care about getting an A or B, you will find with being a C student, that's all right. Bill Clinton was a C student, and he got to be president. Shoot, I'm still waiting for the first college dropout to be president. And we're walking, and we're walking. <laughs> Finally, step four. You must have confidence. Confidence who in whom, you may ask? You have to have confidence in the school system, your teachers, the way you study, and yourself. So how confidence really ties all this together. You have to have high confidence to study and believe that you can study and pass this test. So, the confidence. Well, let me speak from experience. I am an actor, and I need a lot of confidence to perform in shows, to sing in front of people, even though I may not look nervous. Heck, I ain't even using confidence just to do these videos in front of you. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, are they gonna like this? Are they not? And sometimes I'm just thinking about how can I help people? How can I make them smile? In fact, that's not a, that's not just a school tip. That's a life tip. Boom! I'm gonna start that a new video series. Life tips with Professor Leroy. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe for more videos from the Six Night Writers. Remember, be cool. And remember, the four steps are, as we have, study, materials, homework, confidence. Study, materials, homework, confidence. That's Mr. Leroy's four-step plan. That's two threes. I meant four-step plan to do well in school. And if these four steps don't work like you think they should, remember, 
Go back to number one. Everyone is different. Take it at a different approach. You don't have to be this to me. But I may just have a few tips that may help you. Stay sick y'all.